PC Perspective's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, this is Ryan Stroud for PC Perspective. We are at the EVGA booth at CES 2016 taking a look at an enormous chassis uh, tentatively titled the EVGA Gaming Case, as you would expect. This is actually a really interesting design and they have some pretty cool uh, things about it. First of all, I want to keep in mind, I want everybody else to keep in mind, this is a prototype. There's going to be a lot of stuff that changes between now and actual production. First of all, all this is made out of plastic. It will eventually be made out of metal. Um, and any of the kind of fit and finish things will be will be fixed up by the time they release sometime in Q2. So let's walk around some of the features here. First up front, you've got there's going to be three large fans. I think they're 140s intake fans out front. Um, you have uh, three exhaust fans up top with plenty of space for water cooling. You've got two large fans underneath that are pulling air in also to help the power supply. And then you'll have exhaust fans out back. Now, one of the interesting things about just like the shape of this is that it's very big. The window is, is, is huge, encompassing everything you can see. They envision having this case rotated 90 degrees from what you would normally expect so that this is actually the front. This is what you put on your desk. This is what you put on the floor, perhaps, to uh, show off to people what you have. And that's why the power buttons down here, as well as your kind of USB ports and audio connections, those will all be you know, adjusted as accordingly, but they'll all be down here. Uh, and also, you've noticed down here, we have this big LED that's showing uh, fan speeds, right? So you want to change the speed of the exhaust fans, you can do that there. You want to change the speed of the intake fans, you can do that there. Um, and what's interesting is there are going to be different iterations of this case, some that will have this type of controller, uh, higher end models, the, the most expensive model, which I think they're claiming will be $299 at this point, will have a touchscreen LCD control, and you'll also be able to see EVGA precision on that screen too, which is, which is, which is pretty awesome to be to pretty, pretty blunt about it. Uh, you can see they do uh, some interesting stuff here with spacing. The motherboard actually stops here at the window, but behind it, you get all the cables, your USB connections, your video connections all run around here. This door closes on it. You can see the two fans behind it, uh, and that keeps things nice and clean and neat in terms of like if this is the front of your case. So you still don't have to change the orientation of the components inside, uh, but you get a nice clean design. Another thing is like on the back of this case, uh, you've got plenty of space for, I think, uh, six, no, six two and a half inch drives, eight three and a half inch drives, um, uh, lots of room for cable to, cables to be routed. You don't, it's not going to be crowded. It can be a very neat design. Um, if we open this up on the inside, you'll see that they've got some of the now standard features that we'd like to see, very well uh, organized grommets for cables to go through, plenty of space, EATX motherboards, all the kind of support you'll get there as well. Now, one of the things you might have noticed when we open this case up is new cooler configurations from EVGA as well. These are uh, new additions to the EVGA Hydro series. This is the QRC and the QRG. The QRC cooler is actually the one for the CPU right there. So it's a CPU cooler uh, that has its own integrated pump uh, and water block, obviously. But it also has these quick disconnects, right? And so this series of water cooling componentry uh, will allow you to add and remove devices very easily. You can see all four of these GTX 980 TIs that are here um, have these same quick disconnect options on them, uh, and they're all going through one single radiator, huge radiator it is, but up top, um, and each of these also has a pump and radiator in there, or, I'm sorry, a pump and uh, block in there as well, so you definitely have, you actually have five pumps working in this loop through one radiator, and they're working on allowing this to be more configurable, so we'll have, uh, you know, you can add a radiator to the front if you want, you can have just one GPU and one CPU, you can have all four GPUs but no CPUs, and the quick disconnect makes that really easy. In fact, they were demonstrating for us earlier that you can just disconnect it, you know, uh, while it's running, maybe not the best idea, but you can do that and you get everything back up and running, but if you wanted to remove video cards, it's very easy to do or add them in. Um, so this case uh, will be available in Q2, Prices ranging from, this is interesting, $79 to $299. Now, some of the features will change as you get the least or the less expensive models, like this LED kind of uh, etched out front there will probably only be on the higher end. The LCD touchscreen is only going to be on the higher end. Um, there are going to be some other changes like that to differentiate different pricing uh, levels, obviously. But uh, I'm pretty interested in getting my hands on this and actually building a system inside of it to see how easy EVGA makes it. So they don't have a final name yet. It's just known as the EVGA gaming case, but we're hoping to see it before the middle of the year.